Hey guys, my name is Tanay Tiwari. Welcome to Crick Buzz and it's T20 time. Of course, India did play a T20 against the Windies just now, but this is different. India are playing an opposition that used to give us nightmares. It's not the same team anymore. It's time for Australia vs India T20 International Series. Australia, a land known for fast pitches and faster bowlers. Pat Cummins, Mitchell Stark, Josh Hazelwood. None of them there. Jaspreet Bumrah, Bhuvneshwar Kumar and Khalil Ahmed. All of them there. This might be the first time the Australian batsmen are ducking and swaying against Indian bowlers. As ardent good students of the game who are always at it, India have seen their win percentage rise to 81.20% this year, while once very good students Australia have seen theirs dip to 56.25% this year. Some would say they've gotten into nasty habits. A key player for India in this T20 international series will be... Yes, Rohit Sharma. I am so sorry, Rohit fans, I didn't include him the last time around. But this time, I have a numbers treat for you. Rohit is just 65 runs away from becoming the highest run getter in the format. At 560 runs in T20 Internationals in 2018, if he scores another 82, he'll get to the highest runs in T20 Internationals in a calendar year. Four more sixes and Rohit will become the first Indian and only the third in the world to get to 100 T20 international sixes. And talking of sixes, Rohit has already broken his record from 2017. He hit 65 sixes across formats in 2017. In 2018, he's already hit 69 sixes. How is that, Rohit fans? How is that for numbers? Australia's main man and their captain, Aaron Finch, will be a key. He scored over a thousand runs in T20s this year. He's also scored 172 against Zimbabwe, which is the highest score in T20 internationals and the second highest in T20s overall. Another key player for Australia is Andrew Tai. Yes, that purple cap holder from IPL this year. He's taken 27 wickets in T20 internationals this year, which is only behind Bumrah's 28 in 2016 and Shadab Khan's 28 in 2018. Head to head, India have Australia's number, having won 10 out of their 15 encounters. The last time these two sides met in Australia in a T20 international series, India whitewashed them, which was the first time a visiting side did that to Australia. It's been two years since that. Is it time for another whitewash? The three-match T20 International Series begins on the 21st of November with the games happening on the 21st, 23rd and the 25th. And right after the toss, every game will be here with Prigbaz Live with a very interesting panel. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Tanay Tiwari and it's time for me to sign off.